All right, about to push to the next shelter, a little six, seven mile hike. <laughs> So we woke up, it was storming at like five, six in this morning. It calms down, there's nothing. And then this snow cone starts pumping at like seven, 7.30 in the morning. And let me tell you, I think, I think it said, one to three inches this morning another one to three inches this afternoon into tonight about six inches today i wouldn't have believed it but like it's a lot of snow that's all ready it stormed last night that's all the accumulation from right now that is wild never seen a stick like this oh yeah look at my jacket <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to bust my butt. Heard some wolves or coyotes, one of the two. Gotta have faith. Look at that. Not too bad so far. 
haven't hit any crazy wind chills yet. That's good. We are held up right now. Uh, shelter about seven miles, or it's about seven miles from uh, Jerry Cabin. Just met some really cool trail maintenance people. <clears throat> Big thanks to the people that come out here and maintain the trails for us. A lot of people don't realize like how much work's involved, but we appreciate it. Big time. Not gonna be able to post, but uh, I think Bob's got enough battery to let me get one more charge. So hopefully I'll have the video done and be able to post two tomorrow. As this, this weather makes it a lot tougher to push. It makes everything harder. It makes it harder to get food cooked. It makes it harder to change clothes. It makes it, it makes the joints hurt more. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to complain, but there's a reason why not that many people are out here in January. I definitely like it personally like I'll carry it even if I don't need it per just so I can have a hot meal I mean obviously we could have like the, the little mini light light but I mean all right this is like dirt bike camping except without the dirt bikes on the truck 100% <laughs> This is still really cool, you know? I didn't like plan on like staying here all day at all. I just needed that sleep so bad. Oh, you're good, bro. Didn't bother me a bit. Definitely about to feast on some junk food tonight. Look at that. We gotta feast on that. Open that up, please. Oh, yeah. Fritos. Frito twists. Mmm. -hmm. Oh yeah, the honey barbecue, bro. Honey barbecue Frito twist, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. I'm 
probably gonna. I think I might have enough water tomorrow in the morning. I'm gonna do some breakfast essentials and stuff. So, uh, we stopped here. I stopped here for a nap and slept a good three or four hours. I really needed it. I'm not sleeping really good with the mice. Um, decided to just go ahead and stay here. It's about seven miles for the day. Batteries are about to die on everything. We're wet, so we're gonna dip in tomorrow. Get everything dry, get the batteries charged up. Hopefully get back out on trail tomorrow. <clears throat> but depending on depending on what the weather looks like, there's a good chance we just stay at Uncle Johnny's and slack the rest of the way in there. I want to like push and, and do this, but at the same time, I need to like respect my body and take every chance I have to slack pack. I was definitely being a little dramatic the other day about, you know, the knife and all. Um, pretty sure, like statistically, you're a lot safer on this trail than you are in the city. So, just wanted to say that. <laughs> I was just in a bad mood although sometimes I'm not gonna lie sometimes I do get like a little bit of anxiety or something just thinking about like how many people are watching us out here you know what I mean so that's a little weird but <clears throat> probably to be expected looks like my trash bag is gonna be about the heaviest thing on me when I get in uh, this next little spot <clears throat> good chance good chance we uh go all the way in all the way into Johnny's and slack pack from there just you know to get us to Irwin um not sure what the weather's looking like yet but we are praying for some good weather in the morning we only got 2.5 out but that deep snow could make that 2.5 take a while <clears throat> and also we talked to a shuttle driver today we weren't able to get a hold of him uh, to let him know we weren't coming today because there's zero service around here but we're really hoping he's gonna be able to meet us at that gap after all the snow we got tonight and you know, possibly tomorrow. So, fingers crossed. We're gonna say a prayer. 